They are talented brothers who have different interests, yet both their interests brought them to SCAD. Here's the story of Eric and Scott Blake, who were both studying the arts. One studying photography, the other computer art. I'm five years older than my brother. Um, parents split up when we were really young. So basically my mom raised us um, in Florida. Um, Brandon, Florida is where we're both from. There was never that typical role of either going to be a doctor or a lawyer or make money. She, I was definitely my mom's been very supportive for us to do what we want to do and push our own talents. I just happened to start doing photography and my brother is everything, computers, painting, um, sculpture. He just, it just kind of fueled that kind of independent lifestyle, I guess. I picked up my first computer when I was 13. My mom got me like a, a Tandy something, like Tandy 1000 from Radio Shack. And it had like print shop on there. And so I started messing with that. And then like, when I was like 15 or 16, I got my first like real computer. It was like a, a Windows something. And I started doing graphic design for like my friends. A lot of the work I do is I really like, I, may, I use the computer to really like press it and make it do a lot of math, which sounds really dumb, but uh, like a lot of like, like, all this is just numbers. Um, a lot of the stuff I do deals with numbers. That's why it's so good with computers. I was looking for like a, a one like object that sort of like signified like art and technology. I was coming to a lot of stuff. I was like binary, like zeros and ones, and just like that sort of pixelated look. And then one day I was just like, oh my god, you know, barcode. That's what I was. And just, this happened to be. It's like that perfect blend of uh, when you look at it, you can see it as as an art object, where it's just like you know a series of lines. Or then you can also see it as, like, or the computer sees it as, you know, like, zeros and ones. It's very technical. Um, that's sort of why I fell in love with it. It had, it had a really good, like, balance of, like, art and technology. I was definitely, I guess, on a simple of a documentary approach. I wouldn't say that I'm abstract or, you know, academically or theory-oriented work. It's very straightforward and somewhat literal. Like, it usually still is my friends, it's people, my peers, sometimes fans, but anyway, someone I have a relationship with, that I know something about them, they're comfortable with me, I'm comfortable with them, and it's usually just us hanging out, and, uh, and I'll just think about it over the time of hanging out in different scenarios, situations, um, environments, um, usually it's at someone's house, something comfortable, something common to that person. So I usually think about it, and, I can, and I'm sitting there with that person, and I'll be thinking, like, wow, that'd be a great shot, or... You know, I think about timing and where that person's light house is and how the light sets in it. All those little things come into it before I actually say, let's make a picture and I pull the camera out. My brother is just, his work is just so much more involved. Um, he writes programs for his computer. Um, he'll write mock or create mock-ups that most people would consider a final piece and for him it's just the beginning. You know, his work is never ending, it's always changing. And, where I'm not like that. I'll do my work and I'll get it done and I'm happy with it. I'm really willing to move on. But I mean, obviously with this Jesus image, it's the same picture process probably 50 different ways. Where I, mine is, um, I see an image and then when I feel it's complete, I'm done, I'm willing to move on. So his involves a lot more theory, a lot more um, thought and foresight. When mine is, I basically go for more to evoke a kind of um, emotion or a mood, an atmosphere, where his is to kind of convey more of an image-oriented kind of work, I guess. I don't know, I like, I like technology, and, and Eric likes technology, but you know, he's, he likes working with photography and the chemicals and all that stuff. Where I like, you know, having my computer, my little mouse. That's his world, I mean. <laughs> if you could connect wires to his head, to the computer, he'd do it, you know, that's his world. He's always been pushed up five years. He's always had that lifestyle, and then surrounded by people older than him. So he's always, he's just accelerated quicker. He's a quiet guy. He's not very outgoing, but he's but he's he has a lot to say. He fools a lot of people. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realize how how much he thinks. He's very um, intellectual. Now that we're here at SCAD, we definitely like we get together and we talk about work. Like um, I don't know, Eric Eric can articulate things a lot better than I can. And so I'll just give him an idea. Like hey, I'm having trouble with this, and he'll just bam bam. He'll just give me some really good ideas.